Hi guys, welcome to Skincare Nepal. Um, today we'll be talking about oily acne prone skin and what are the things that we can do to uh, manage our sebum production and to get uh, less breakouts. So we'll start with what oil is. So we all have oil in our skin. The pores that we have underneath is, is a sebaceous gland which produces oil to ensure that our skin is nicely hydrated and moisturized. Okay, so for some people, uh, the sebaceous gland tends to produce a lot more oil, which is why they tend to have oily skin. Now, um, a lot of people say that they don't know what kind of skin type they have or how do they find out if they have oily skin or not. Banera. Here are some of the things um, that you can consider to see if you have oily skin or not. Banera. First of all, when you touch it, it you can see oil it, on your fingers. Number two, it, it genuinely looks oily and greasy to look at. Number three, you might have visible large pores. So when our sebaceous gland is producing a lot of oil, it pushes it out from the pores, which is why our pores might be slightly enlarged. Number four, you might get frequent breakouts. So you might because the oil tends to get clogged in our pores it gives more room for bacteria to go grow which is why you might end up getting more and frequent breakouts so now we'll talk about what are the factors that could contribute to someone having oily skin so number one it could be genetic so it might run in families Number two, it could be because of hormonal imbalance. So when our hormones are not balanced, our sebum uh, production tend to increase. So our sebaceous gland tend to make a lot more sebum, which they push out from the pores. Um, number three is your age. So when you're young, you might have oilier skin. And as you grow older, you might see less oil production in your skin. Number four is the environment and the weather you live in. So... People tend to get more oilier skin in the summer and in the winter it's dry to normal. So now as we have covered up what um, could be the factors that could lead someone to have oily skin and how to identify oily skin, we'll be talking about treatments. I will not be talking about any treatments that is given to you by your dermatologist or by your esthetician. So I, wouldn't, I won't be talking about any medication, so I won't be talking about any medical treatment. I will just be talking about skincare products and how they can help if you have oily acne prone skin. Now I might slightly touch on skincare products along with medications that is given to you by your dermatologist or an esthetician, but I won't be going in full on details about it. So to start with, let's say if you have oily acne prone skin and you go to your dermatologist or esthetician, the first thing that they might consider giving you is antibiotics or medical retin-A or a combination of both. So while using these products, what you need to really consider is hydration. So all these products can really dry up your skin. So what you really need to look for in terms of skincare is products that could actually hydrate your skin. And all, a big misunderstanding a lot of people have is they think that using antibiotics or medical retin-A will stop them from getting further future acne, which is not true. So you're taking antibiotics to treat the skin condition, so treat the acne that is is already present in your skin but you can't obviously use antibiotics for a very long period of time that's when skincare comes in you need to use skincare products that actually helps to prevent those breakouts so that you don't have to use all antibiotics or medical retin-a to treat those skin conditions so in terms of cleansers what you can use is if you're not using any medical treatment if you're not using any medication you can use a face wash with either aha or bha so either glycolic acid or salicylic acid they help to remove any impurities or dirt that's sitting on top of your skin uh, make sure you massage it for a good 30 to 60 seconds now the other cleanser that you can also use is a clay cleanser which can be really great if you have really oily skin as it helps to take off any excess sebum that is on top layer of your skin and it will give you a nice good healthy looking skin after you finish cleansing and it will not leave your skin feeling very dry or tight after after you have used the cleanser in terms of serums there are a lot of things that you can use there are a lot of active ingredients that you can use which can help to reduce your breakouts so for instance we'll start with vitamin a it's really good uh, for oily acne it helps to control the sebum production it helps with your breakouts it helps 
with your cell turnover so it helps to fasten the cell turnover amber cell turnover every 20 to 30 days now so many retinol helps to fasten that process so it's really good for people with acne oily skin Only the other thing that you can use is a salicylic acid salicylic acid is a very hard working ingredient so aha as well use gonna buy just a glycolic acid one by when it only works on the top layer of your skin whereas if you're using salicylic acid then it works slightly deeper layers man it's really good for people who get um acne and have oily skin is it helps to unclog pores it has antibacterial uh, properties which is really good for people with oily acne prone skin the other thing that you can also use is sulfur which is not talked a lot in our skin care market i don't know why but it is very gentle it's really good for people who have sensitive skin it also works in very similar way to salicylic acid it helps to unclog pores it helps to get rid of any dead skin cells but is a lot gentler uh, compared to salicylic acid or any other acids out there in the market so you can find sulfur in face wash or like overnight treatments or serums or mask um the kit somerville has a good range of that they have a face wash with sulfur they also have overnight treatment with 10% sulfur which is really good if you have sensitive um, acne prone skin the overnight treatment is obviously when you have one of those pimples and you just want to get rid of it quickly then you can use it Other than that look for these ingredients if you have oily acne prone skin so look for any AHAs or BHAs look for sulfur look for um vitamin A which is retinol look for vitamin B3 they can be really good for your skin in terms of hydration in terms of unclogging the pores in terms of getting rid of any bacteria or dirt or dead skin cells from our skin they can be really really useful so now we'll move on to moisturizer what you can if you have oily skin what you can use is a oil free moisturizer or you can use a gel based moisturizer which potential which can potentially contain um hyaluronic acid so that can be really hydrating for our skin now a lot of people think that if i have oily skin i should completely avoid moisturizer that is not true you should definitely wear a moisturizer and there is a moisturizer for each skin type out there um uh, there's actually skincare products for every single skin type out there so you just need to find the right products for you and you should use it so don't do not skip your moisturizer always use your moisturizer it is very very important to make sure that your skin is nicely hydrated and contains enough moisture it is really also it is also very important when you're using active ingredients such as salicylic acid or retinol which can, it can easily dry up your skin so you, if you don't use moisturizer your skin will be really dry uh, your barrier function will be disturbed so make sure you you giving enough moisture to your skin okay moisturizer is really important you can easily get a oil free moisturizer or a gel based moisturizer that will suit your skin so in terms of sunscreen it is also very similar to moisturizer there are sunscreen out there which are for oily skin there are mattifying one there is a spray like dry touch bako so like having an oily skin is not a good enough excuse for you to say ki mere skin oily tha so i'm not going to use moisturizer or i'm not going to use sunscreen banera you should definitely wear sunscreen you can get get a mattifying sunscreen and you can use a spray with dry touch to for reapplication so that you're not missing out on your sun protection okay in terms of exfoliation you can use a chemical exfoliation which contains either glycolic acid or anything from the aha or the bha family or a mixture of both some products do have a mixture of both but um, use chemical based exfoliation you can also use clay mask karu so you can easily take steam at home and then apply a clay mask what steaming does it it helps to reduce any um oil or dirt that might be stuck on your pores it helps to melt that down and then when you apply your mask it just gives you a nice healthier looking skin but make sure you follow it up with a nice moisturizer after you apply your masks or whatever now i know that mask can be really effective it can be really pampering but make sure you don't overdo overdo it over exfoliation is not so good it can really leave your skin very very dry so if you have oily skin don't use a facial mask like 
three or four times a week don't use your exfoliation as well three to four times a week so just keep it simple you can apply mask maybe once a week and then do chemical exfoliation twice and that will be enough for your skin that is all for today i hope you find this information useful i haven't mentioned everything obviously but we'll be making frequent videos on uh, different skin types and different skin conditions so you guys get all the information that is needed if you guys would like to know anything more then drop it on the comment section or drop it drop um, topics that you guys want us to cover up that's all for today. Thank you for subscribing to Skincare Nepal. I hope we'll be able to help you guys to get your better skin and hope you guys find this information really helpful. That's all for today. Have a lovely, lovely time. Bye!